Bonjour tout le monde. C'est Don Wright. He said, uh, today I'm going to teach you how to speak French in one million easy lessons. <laughs> Il y a beaucoup de mots. There's lots of words that we can use and, uh, and apprendre and learn. Um, if we break it down into simple phrases and simple requests, uh, we can piece them all together and, uh, and create sentences. We, um, je parle comme un enfant, I speak like a child, uh, but man, over time, um, we'll get it. It'll, it'll become easier and easier. Par exemple, for example, je suis, I am. So we learn that, I am. And so now, once you've added that to your uh, vocabulary, now you learn other things. Uh, tre. We know tre is very. So, uh, je suis tre. I am very. And then we learn another word. Um, I am very... Oh, <laughs> I am very beautiful. Je suis tre... Uh-oh. Belle? No. No, no. Beau. <laughs> je suis tre beau. Oh, yes, so now we have masculine and feminine. But you know what? Don't even worry about it. I am comfort <laughs> I'm comfortable in my sexuality. Uh, I don't mind calling myself a female here and there by mistake. If someone laughs, well, then we will laugh together. <laughs> I think the most important thing is to just talk. Just parler. Just say it. Just go for it. And don't worry if you're going to say it right or wrong. Um, that's, it, it doesn't matter. So you walk into the grocery store and, uh, oh, yesterday this happened to me. I, I, I said to the clerk, um, uh, oh, il fait froid aujourd'hui. And she said, huh? So now I could have been discouraged and, and, and then immediately spoke in English, but she said, huh? Because number one is, is I, um, she didn't, I didn't have her attention, and though I spoke, she was expecting to hear uh, French dialect versus my Anglais dialect, and so it caught her off guard. She said, huh, and, and when I repeat myself, now she's listening, and so we shouldn't take offense uh, when, when that happens. Um, if you say something in French, um, well, actually what I said to her was, uh, uh, je prends le français. And then I repeated, uh, I repeated my sentence. And then she was good. She was good to go. And uh, so what happens now is the more and more people you interact with, uh, they begin to know you. And so that when you walk into the store, they will they will smile and they'll know right away as soon as you have their attention. Um, you know, like everybody, we forget. And and so um, if you just lead with uh, "Je parle le français." I'm learning French, and, and immediately um, people will help you. I haven't had one person who doesn't help. Um, one of the problems is they'll flip back to English for you. And um, if you say, uh, uh, well, I say, uh, parlez français avec moi. Now, that's probably wrong. <laughs> there's, there's a proper way to say that. Um, maybe I'll, I'll Google it, but we can't really trust Google all the time. <laughs> yeah, Google. It's a, a, a wonderful tool. Um, of course, we know it, it, it can be incorrect. It can lead to problems. But here's how I like to use Google. I like to do it in reverse. I like to enter what I believe to be the correct French phrase and or word on the French side. And then on the English side, it you can watch it as it transforms. You can watch how when you change, when you add an S, for example, how it changes over on the English side. And if I'm trying to say something and then I get stumped, then I use the arrow, which which now lets me type into the English side. And then I type the word that I want, and then I can flip back and forth. Um, you know, in the end, it's not really correct, but if you, if you flip it back and forth a few times, uh, I, I think it tries to self-correct you. Um, you know, ultimately, we're going to learn by hearing and by talking and by by being in the community and just doing it. But but we have to start somewhere and we have to use everything we can. And uh, for me, the, this Google Translate's awesome. Um, I have it on my Android, so I pull into a parking lot and and uh, uh, quickly speak into uh, uh, into the English side or the French side what I think I want to say. I practice it a few times in my head, and then I step in and I execute it. And they say, huh? <laughs>
And I say, je parle le français. And then I, I, I say what I wanted to say. Um, you know, I, I have to say that less and less because people now, uh, when they see me, they, they know I'm, I'm, I'm an opera de la français. And they, they want to help me. And it, it, it is, it, it's fun. Not that I want to make fun, but it is fun and it's rewarding. And, you know, as I said, after two months, I'm, I'm just astounded. Um, and I'm not special. I'm, you know, I'm not smart. I'm, I'm just bold. Um, we have to be uh, très fortes, très strong, and we have to be bold and we have to really want to just do it. And guess what? We can do it. <laughs> Hey, learned a cool word. Uh, J'aimerais. Uh, I, I think it means I, I would love it or I would want it. And uh, so I'm always looking for ways to, to ask, um, ask in the, in the stores, uh, dans la magasin, uh, when I achete uh, le, le, le patin. <laughs> and uh, so I say, uh, avez-vous de patin? And, um, oh no, de, de patin ça, comme ça, oui. Um, but there's other ways, um, and, and the one I learned was, uh, uh, uh like, uh, j'aimerais, uh, la vitamin C, uh, um, uh, avez-vous? <laughs> so, I don't know, you know, just become, um, an enfant, I speak like a child, but, um, I'm getting better, and then people are, are giving me hints, and I see how people respond, and, and then we just assimilate that into, into our memories and um, it, it really is amazing how smart we are and how how our memories are like sponges when we when we practice uh, je pense uh, le clé est l'immersion i think that immersion immersion is the key and so um, as part of our learning we need to immerse ourselves in it um on a Facebook, I have joined a lot of French groups, and, and maintenant my my Facebook uh, feed is um, a, a, a beaucoup de français. Et uh, je challenge myself to to read it uh, en français and to comprendre en français. Uh, and if I don't, then the really cool uh, tool, uh, translate. You press the button, read it over. Um, I try to translate it. Or I try to remove the translation and read it again. And so it's cumbersome. You know, you, you read it a couple times. But you know what? After a while, uh, it becomes easier and easier. And, and you begin to understand more and more. So it's a, that's, that's a valuable tool, too. Um, if you go into town and use French and, and you purposely use French and purposely try, I guarantee you, you will be successful. Um, but it's purposeful, and you have to you have to view your town um, as uh, an autre pays uh, dans uh, dans le paradis, uh, another country in paradise. Uh, we uh, le, to la community um, uh, parle anglais. We know this, uh, and they do it really well. Um, mais um, mais je pense uh, we have to do it. In French, um, we as hard as it is and as as silly as it is, we just have to do it. It's immersion. It's it's the way we learn, and we'll get better and better. And and it'll happen quickly. We need to have faith. Um, we we just need to have a faith, and and it will happen. <laughs>